Hey, this is Joe with Personas. Today, let's talk about configuring your own multi effects in Studio One. Multi effects isn't like a thing, it's just if you've ever played guitar and you've seen there are those boxes you can buy that are multi effect pedals, right? So they have a number of different effects in them, and a lot of them let you combine different effects. So you can have a delay into a reverb, into a tremolo, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what ends up happening inside of a DAW, like for example, this mix session inside of Studio One, for me at least, I tend to have like dedicated separate uh, effects buses for my different effects. So specifically in this template here, I've got a room reverb, which is like a typical like studio room. Uh, this is a plate reverb. This is a spring reverb. This is a quarter note delay, half note delay, and some other delay. I forget what they are. Yeah. Slapback delay, quarter note delay, and half note delay. Love having all of those available to me, and I can quickly access them, right? by just choosing Ascend and then choosing which one of them I want from the menu there. That's all well and good, but one of the things you may not think to do is to stack a bunch of effects and create your own cool vibes. You could do that by sending one track to a bunch of different effects, but the effects will sound different if they're feeding into one another. It's not neither good nor bad necessarily, but it'll just sound different. So we're going to go through a couple of levels of messing around with multi-effects here in Studio One, multi effects in Studio One uh, and show you some of the tools I would use to do that. So let's start with this dry vocal. Listen to your father singing. So I want it to have like a big ambience to it because uh, the overall like mu music behind it is like a slow groove ballad sort of thing. Listen. So it's got kind of an ambient feel already. So <clears throat> step one for me is to use this plate reverb here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it up and send it into the plate reverb, and that gives us this. Listen to your fire. Big, humongous plate. I've talked about this before. It's really, technically, it's the room reverb in Studio One, uh, but check it out. The shape of the room is the shape of a plate, uh, and it actually responds really well. You turn down all the uh, early reflections, so you're just getting the decay, the tail of the reverb, and then you turn it up to like around, what, about six seconds of of a decay time so it's this massive sound but little bits on like things like vocals can be really cool on ballads in the background so that's kind of our starting point for me the first if i was going to upgrade this the first thing i would do would be to add some sort of a delay so the song is duh, duh, slow quarter notes i'd probably add like a quarter note delay here so i can do that by uh, let's add an analog delay so here's analog delay and i'm going to put that back here in front of the room reverb. So the reverb is going to be like the last stop in this chain. I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, okay, so let's go with a quarter note delay, and let's make sure it has some feedback. And let's just let's just see what this sounds like right out of the box. Listen to your father. I don't hear it too much. Let's go with this. Make the dry wet go up all the way and see what that sounds like. Listen to your father singing. So the problem with that is the reverb doesn't start until the delay starts. Because since this delay is set up as 100% wet, we hear the raw vocal, and then eventually we hear the delayed vocal, and then that's what feeds the reverb that comes later. So... It's cool to have the reverb sound going into, or having the delay sound going into a reverb, but if we set it to 100% wet, then we're going to actually have a dry vocal, and then the reverb comes in a lot later. I wouldn't say that's right or wrong, it's just more interesting. So let's set it at like 50%, see what that sounds like, and we'll turn this width all the way up too. Listen to your father singing. I like that. So it's not so prominent that it's taking over. I think a lot of times people, they get an effect that they like, and then they make it be so prominent that it's distracting. Um, you could argue maybe this is. But you hear it, and it's kind of in the background. You don't hear it as well. But when I get done singing the words, sing in, 
singing, you hear the echo behind it. Listen to your father singing. Oh, get that singing over on the right side. That's pretty cool. So that is level one. Just add a delay before your reverb. Don't set it to 100% wet or dry. Let it be somewhere in the middle, and then the reverb can be completely what we call wet, which is all reverb, no dry signal. That's pretty cool. Let's move on to level two. For level two, I want to try a really short delay. Not a slapback necessarily, but something before this. So I'm going to, I set up a keyboard shortcut in another video. Control I for insert plugin. I'm going to hit analog delay again, and it puts it at the end by default. I'm going to drag it all the way back to the beginning. And this one I'm going to set up as a really fast delay. So like, Maybe six, this song is so slow that I think a 16th note delay won't sound all that fast. And a lot of feedback. And I want to just hear quickly what that sounds like. Listen. Problem with multi effects is to hear one thing over the other, sometimes you have to mute them. So we're going to mute, get rid of the other two plugins for a second, set this to 50%. Listen. Do you f okay, it's very fast. So if we set it, if we boosted the, the delays a little bit here. Listen to your father. I love that so much. So if you do the, if you hit boost and you turn the feedback up too much, it'll do that, which is kind of a cool sound, but we don't want it right now. Listen to your father singing over you. So it's more subtle. Honestly, I don't know if we would hear that with the other delay and the reverb, but let's see what they all sound like together. Listen to your father really cool because it makes the 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 long vowel sounds the oh what you're literally hearing is oh 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 happening over and over and all of that hitting a reverb so it ends up making it almost sound like this synth that just has this long sustain to it really really interesting so that that would be level two for me is like maybe two different reverbs stacked into one another then in, or two delays stacked into one another then into a reverb just so you know by the way this fat channel here is just acting as an as a high pass filter I'm not really doing anything else there. Just to make sure it doesn't get muddy, that's always a good practice to have. So level three. Level three gets funky, and you can get in the weeds really quickly. But level three involves adding in a splitter. So if you're not familiar with splitter, splitter is a really cool way to get some crazy routing going without having to create any new tracks or auxes or effect sends or anything like that. We can do that within this bus here. So if I throw a splitter here, and let's make it a channel split, which means left and right go together. And let's put the one delay on the left and one delay on the right. So now they're not being stereo delays anymore per se. One's just going to be on the left, one's going to be on the right. Let's see what it sounds like if we have the reverb off, but both of these delays coming through on opposite sides. Listen to your father singing. It's kind of cool. You get kind of this different, almost a ping pong style there. You could maybe make this one be something like a dotted eighth, maybe, to change the timing up even more. Listen to your father singing over you. So that just gives it an e even more of an interesting depth. There's like different delay that stays over here and another one over here. Maybe this one on the right has a lot more drive to it um, and maybe a little more feedback as well. Listen to your father singing over you the truth. 
Yeah, the, like the tea comes through, and that's super interesting. And then from there, you can just go nuts with other stuff. You can add more splitters if you want. I encourage you, maybe just stick with one set of splitters versus going nuts with it. Um, but maybe even another thing you can add is, this is something I've done before that I really like. Add in something like X-Trim, which if you haven't used X-Trim, it's, uh, it's a tremolo plugin. And I did a video recently showing how it can be also a panning plugin. But add it as a, as a typical tremolo and then set it to, let's see, we'll put it at the end of the chain. So it's going to be, let's see, yeah, after the reverb. Okay. And then I want to set it to sync to the tempo, maybe quarter note as well. And then make it pretty deep so that it's turning all the way on and off and that can be really interesting over a reverb listen to your father singing over you the truth listen to your father So it just gives it this, obviously turned up all the way is too much, but it gives it this uh, kind of emotion. It's moving now. It's going woo, 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 like pulsing. Uh, the vocal stays up front, but all the effects have this kind of pulsing thing to them. And you can go nuts with it like something like this. Listen to your father singing over you. Now it's going to be like a, it sounds like one of Gregor's like EDM dance beats. But anyway, uh, as you can see, just stacking things into a plugin system and trying maybe new plugins you haven't used before or different combinations. And if you find something that you say, this is great, I could see myself using it again, just come in here and make sure that you save it. So open this up and just say store effects chain. You can give it a name, you can set what folder to store it into, and then you'll have it over here in your browser under effects chains, and usually I store mine under my name, uh, so I can always bring that back and maybe go walk down memory lane. Oh, remember that cool tremolo reverb delay thing that we created? Let's see if it sounds good on this part. And this is just vocals. Imagine if we tried it on a lead guitar or on a synthesizer track or even on a drum track sometimes could be really cool. And you can build your own library of really cool multi-effects. You can even share them with your friends if you want. All right, that's it for me. Go make some crazy sounds. Thanks for watching.